Hi, this is Amy from the Alti Store. I'm going to walk you through using the loads list calculator on our website, altistore.com, and this will give you the ability to figure out exactly how much power you need to generate for your off grid solar system. So, if you're doing DIY solar, you really need to know how much power do you need to make, and then from there, you can figure out what size battery bank, what size solar array, and all the other equipment will all come from this loads list. Now, if you don't know how much power and a specific appliance uses, look at the label on the back of it or on the bottom, and it will actually show you either the number of watts or the volts and amps. So you multiply the volts times the amps, and that'll get you the watts. So you're going to need that information. So Figure out all the different pieces that you're going to be powering in your DIY off-grid solar system, and then let's take a look at the calculator. It's really simple to get to our calculators from our website at altistore.com. You can go there a couple of ways. You can either go to the home page, scroll down, and click on the link that has the calculator, or you can go to one of the tabs to the resources tab and you can click on the calculators from there. Both will bring you to the same page. We've got several different calculators here. We're going to go over the load calculator and this gives us a little bit of information about the load calculator. We click on that and it gives us fields that we can fill in at, using the information that we know of what appliances or what loads we're going to be powering with our solar system. So we're just going to go in and list them one at a time. You want to really make sure that you think about everything that you need because everything that you're going to be using to uh, be powered has to be included in here so you don't accidentally make the system too small. So I've got some LED lights and I have some that are AC powered, four of them, and uh, they use about nine watts each and they don't really have much of a surge when you turn them on. They, they pretty much just use 9 watts when, when they're turned on. And they're not DC powered, they're AC powered, so I leave that blank. And then on hours per day. So I'm going to say they're probably going to be on about 4 hours a day. So it's going to do the calculations automatically. F 4 lights, 9 watts each for 4 hours, 144 watt hours a day. Now I also have some DC lights that I'm going to list in here. And it's important to differentiate between AC and DC because we're not going to include these DC uh, uh, items in our inverter calculations because the inverter will only be used for AC things. So I've got two of these DC lights and not going to use AC watts because they are DC so they draw about six watts each. I'll have them on for about two hours a day. So it's taking the quantity two times six watts times two hours equals 24 watt hours a day. Now I've uh, actually used a kilowatt meter to determine how much power my refrigerator uses because the refrigerator is difficult to just calculate based on its ratings because uh, you know it's going to be on and off at different times of the day. So when it comes on automatically it's got a bit of a surge as well. So I used my kilowatt meter and we did a video on how to use a kilowatt meter so you can check that out. So I'm going to say my fridge. I've got one of them and it uses, when it's on, it uses about 85 watts but it does have a high surge. The compressor when it turns on does surge up to about 300 watts. So I'm going to put that in there so when I calculate what size inverter I need I'm going to take that surge into consideration because uh, an inverter will be rated both on its continuous power and its surge. So that is actually when it's on and, and drawing those 85 watts it's about half the day so it uses uh, just over a, a kilowatt hour a day. Now if I wanted to add another load I could just click that and it will open up more more fields here. So let's say I've got a drill that I'm going to be using for, for doing some tools. I've got one of those and that again has quite a bit of a surge. So that I'm going to say uses uh, about 150 watts but it has maybe a 600 watt surge and I'm going to be using that for maybe about 15 minutes so I'm just going to say a quarter of an hour so it'll figure that in there and if I don't know how much some power something uses I can go down to this drop down and it gives you a bunch of suggestions so 
let's say uh, I've got a, uh, a table fan that's drawing 25 watts. I'll just add that into the calculator and say, yeah, that'll be on for six hours. So it's just going to be going through and stepping through and adding everything up. Now, I want to make sure that I use this on at the same time. Anything that's that has the potential to be on uh, drawing power through the inverter, so it'd be AC powered going through the inverter, you want to make sure it's on at the same time so that it can take that into consideration. So this is calculated out that I'm using 1,375 and a half watt hours a day or 1.375 kilowatt hours a day. So that information I'll be able to use to determine the size of my battery bank and solar panel in my next uh, off-grid calculator. Now I can actually go in and save this and this will give me the ability to go back and retrieve it at a later time. So it gives me the link that I can go in and find it. I hope you found this useful. If so, give us a like and a share and be sure to uh, check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe to the channel Alti Store so that we can notify you when we get new videos out. Also go to our website altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.